first win of the 2021 season. 1-0 win against Alajuelense. Against all the odds and really at a very disadvantageous uh, position there. But what are your thoughts on getting the first win in the Heinze era? Uh, CONCACAF is going to con- CONCACAF, right? Uh, what, what a crazy game. Um, I watched the earlier game and it was 2-2. Two two I was hoping to be uh, as exciting. And we, we didn't get a 2-2 two two game, but we got a crazier game. Got a, a red card. We got a penalty kick. Uh, fantastic game uh, overall. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, let's start off with that lineup that maybe surprised a few people. Uh, you know, with Mulraney as a starter over Dom, with the three-man midfield of Sosa, Ibarra, and Heinemann, and Barco out on the left, uh, and Lennon at right back, I think, uh, are most of the surprises there. Uh, who of the the new boys, I think, uh, you know, showed out for you in this match the most? Ibarra was interesting. Uh, it was really there. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are going to say Sosa, and, and Sosa was fantastic. Um, I, I think Sosa has an opportunity to be one of the best players um, for this team, and I think that's what we really needed. Um, I know we've always said we needed the Nagby uh, replacement, and maybe he's the guy um, for it. So far, he's looked fantastic um, in the limited play, but that that it was an overall team effort. Um, everybody out there was, was trying to help, um, you know, the defense, um and guzan and and rios and um you know i the, i keep going back to and i said this throughout the game this this team has heart and i don't know if we saw the heart last year um it, it didn't seem like we, we had that we you know when things were close it always felt like we were going to blow it or um we weren't going to score that goal that that we needed um but this team kept pushing and everybody helped each other out when when uh, it was getting real out there and we were we were getting attacked nonstop, the entire team came back to help on defense, and that was it was great to see. Yeah, I think at points you saw Ezekiel Barco come back to uh, pretty much be a left back, uh, but yeah, yeah definitely uh, it was all out defending at some points for sure in the second half. Uh, but Rocco Rios Novo. Uh, Give me your thoughts on his performance coming in for Suzanne, who unfortunately got that red card. I mean, we could spell uh, MVP right here of the game. Uh, he looked good. He looked confident. Uh, you know, I, I've I've seen some articles saying that he could be the goaltender of the future. Um, I hope so. Um, he looked good. Um, he looked confident. Uh, I'm not sure how old he is. I thought someone's. He's 18 years old. Yep. Um, I may. Mean, yeah, respect to him. Um, you know, and so uh, he he looked good. Uh, I got a little worried when he got kicked in the head there, but he he got back right uh, got right back up and made a couple saves. And that uh, sequence, uh, probably around the 80th minute, somewhere around there, where he made those back to back saves, um, fantastic. Um, you know, he he had a lot of help out there. Um, specifically, Robinson um, was probably my player of, of the match, man of the match there. Um, he made just so many, so many great plays. Um, and there were a couple balls where Novos wouldn't have even had an opportunity to stop that and wouldn't have stopped that initial, um, initial play. So, um, he, he did great. I, I'm not sure if, I, if they're going to trust him next Tuesday, but from what we saw, um, and, and that's half, why not? Yeah. It seems like a pretty good audition for that second leg. Uh, he, Pretty much didn't put too much of a foot wrong, even though he did get a yellow card for time wasting, and uh, that was pretty early in the match. So, uh, very interesting to see if that ref would have given him a second one. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, but uh, yes, definitely, though, uh, you know, was it, in your opinion, a penalty for our, uh, you know, our Barco to put in? Was it a handball? What are your thoughts? Uh, you know, they, they, they showed it on Fox of the replay in slow motion, and you really couldn't tell. Uh, you know, previous to the VR, VAR ages, um, you 
you got to call what you see. Um, there's no technology. So if, if that's what they're going to call it, um, you know, even with them slowing it down, um, it it looked like it, pro- it probably went off of his face. But if you're a ref, you know, that's and you don't have a, a, a replay system, you, you got to call it. And I'm fine with that. And, you know, I, I don't want to say we've been CONCACAF before, but we have. And it was nice to see it go our way for once, especially on the road. Um, it always seems, you know, I have a very short experience watching. Um, usually you see the home team getting the call. So it was nice to see us get that call after the right card. Yeah, definitely. And especially, I think, uh, when we got the uh, first, it was a yellow card for Dan, and then he got the red card. What was your opinion of it uh, as it transpired, obviously? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit of a rash tackle, but uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I I thought it was going to be a yellow, um, and then you saw him grabbing the yellow, and the the I, I don't know the uh, the explanation that Fox gave it, Alexi gave it. Um, it, it did seem like they were pressured into it by the players. Um, I thought that it was just going to be the yellow, and then it's the red, and I, I I thought that that was a bogus call. Um, I, I think he was pressured in for it, and definitely, and um, wasn't too. You know, sometimes you look at these situations and you look at the positive and we never would have known what we would have had with this kid. Again, it's it's just a half. Um, but it's good to see that 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 play from him. And if you know we go into this in the second leg and he continues to play well, um, you know, I think we've got a very good future for us uh in the goaltending position. Yeah. It seems like we found our cupkeeper for at least the uh However long we're in the, this competition, and it seems like, yes, we are uh, in a good position going into the second leg. What's your your confidence level going in that second leg? Uh, um, so it wasn't fans there. Right? It was just that was just uh, that was just uh, piping and noise, right? Oh, uh, I think there were some fans there. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Not, you, you not actually in the stadium, but I think, camera. yeah, it was piping in noise, but I think, yeah, I've seen fans travel there for that game, but whether they actually were able to get into the game, I think it was close okay. to the public. So. I think bringing the fans back um, next week is going to be huge for this team. Um, I, I think they know what they did last year and the struggles that they had. Um, Joseph coming back. Um, I think there's a very good opportunity that he starts um, and he plays those 50, 60 minutes. Um, and then we see Lopez play the second half. Um, you know, he really didn't get much, but it was good to see him on the field. Um, but this, this, this team and these fans deserve what's coming to them. Um, this team here in this, this, this first, uh, this first leg win and bringing it home to the fans. It's how they have performed. Uh, kind of, yeah. I think, uh, we're going to bring it home. I, I didn't. I didn't have confidence going into this this uh, this first leg, um, but now that we've made out of it, we've made it out alive, and we've got a win over a team that hasn't lost since November. Uh, I've got full confidence that we're going to do this. Hell yeah, that's uh, some confidence that I like to hear for sure. But I uh, appreciate your time. We will talk to you later. Hey!